uh, 430, we sold them all. So we're going to make our periodic adjustment as of the end of the month. We're always going to do it as of the end of the month for the sales side on a periodic basis. You might do it weekly, but monthly is quite common. Let's say it's at 430. I need to format this in the date format. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click on it, right click and format this as a date format. I'm going to take the years off. So 430, 430. Okay. And then we're going to sell, we sold, uh, the, the total amount of three units. But once again, I'm going to put them on the books one at a time. So I'm just going to say one unit at a time and I'm going to pick the cost up each line item. So there's the $20 that we are picking up. And basically I notice it's trying to copy down. You got to be careful with the table when you, when you add formulas, because the table will try to basically uh, copy it down. I didn't want it to copy that down. So I'm going to undo that bit. So I undid that. And then, and so now I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to copy the same thing just to those couple cells. I'm going to copy this to these cells. So there we have it. So now we've sold all three units. So the unit balance at this point in time, I'm just going to say was one, we sold the one. It's always going to go down to zero. Once again, it's trying to copy down. So I could undo that. So it doesn't copy it down. And then I would like to be the one that copies it down just to those number of units. And then the ending inventory uh, is going to be then the, uh, I usually do it as the cost minus the cost. So it goes back down to zero as well. And then it's copying it down. So I'm going to undo that. And then I want to copy it down to make sure it doesn't mess up if I had any other rows in the table. So we sold all of those basically have been uh, sold out. And then we're going to say on the other two items that we didn't sell any of the of the other items at this point in time. So now if I look at my total inventory, I can say, let's bring this back up and bring in all of my inventory. I'm going to remove the filters or select all of them. So there we have it. And let's pull these ending balances all the way down now. So I'm going to say, let's pull these down. And so there, there they are. So now we've got our ending balance. Here's our ending inventory summing up to uh, 2810. Okay, we can summarize this in a table. I'm going to go over here and try to make this, I'll make this a skinny column. And then let's put a little table together and for our summary table and i'm going to put my headers over here i'll say this is product one which i might be able to get by just well let's just type it in here i'll say product one product two and product three and what do we have thus far we've got all three products and then i'm going to say this will be the unit balance and then ending inventory and let's do this and let's make this a header i'll make this black and white black and white and i'll make this black and white and this black and white or you know, all right wait i missed it i didn't click on it all right and then we're going to say the number of units we're going to use a fancy formula here to do this, but it's not too bad. It's, it's going to be equals to the sum if, and I'm going to use the ifs with an S brackets. And then I'm going to say that I want you to sum the units, these units. I'm just going to select the entire column or I could select the entire table. Let's do the table. I want you to pick up this table. I could see the criteria. There's my range and then comma, the next argument. And then, and then the criteria range meaning sum everything in that area if this area i'm going to pick up this table and notice i'm i'm putting my little pointer there which has a down arrow because it's just picking up that table if that and then comma and then the next criteria ties into product number one so in other words the argument is i want you to sum up each one here which is just one unit if it's on hand still if it hasn't been sold if you can tie it out to this side where it says product number one. There's not going to be any ones here because they've all been zeroed out. So there's zero. Let's do the same thing here. Equals, I'm going to say sum if 
and I'm going to take the one with the S, ifs, and I want you to take this range, sum up this range, comma, criteria range, which is going to be this range, and you have to have that tie out to, comma, this criteria product number one. And so if I say enter, it picks up two items because we have these two that are summing up. It's summing up these two that correspond to those two product, product two. Let's do it one more time. Equals sum ifs brackets. The sum range is gonna be these unit ranges. You wanna sum those up comma to get to the criteria range, this range. And then comma, if you see in that range, a number three. So then it's gonna give us four of those because we had four of these with a number three. And then let's do the ending inventory, similar kind of process. We're gonna say equals the sum ifs brackets. I want you to sum the ending inventory range here, comma, if similar process, if this product range, comma, criteria has product one in it. So once again, it's zero because it's summing these up, which are gone, and there's nothing of product number one left. Do it again here, equals the sum ifs brackets, sum range, ending inventory, comma, criteria range, here, finding the products, comma, and then the criteria is product number two. So there's the 210, 210 representing product two, product two adds up to 210 for those two line items on product two. And then once again, equals the sum ifs bracket, sum range here, comma, and then the criteria range here, comma, and then if there's product number three, enter. And so that's gonna be 2006, which is basically the 650 per unit times four units of product number three. And then we could have a total, total at the end. Let's make that black and white and centered. And we could say sum, just a normal sum this time, <laughs> this way, sum that way. And then we could also put some brackets around this. So that's where our ending inventory uh, should be and therefore we can just do an adjustment now. I can go back on over. Now we can also do that table with a pivot table. So we'll get into that more later. But right now I just want to do the journal entry real quick because we're running low on time. We've got 2872 over here. So 2872 is what we currently have in the inventory. And if we subtract this out, that would be our adjustment. We need to, we need to decrease it by $62, which kind of makes sense because we sold these three items, cost of goods sold. Uh, is the 60 is the $62, right? So I'm going to go back on over and say, all right, what, let's go back on over here and just do it with a journal entry, new button. And we're going to do the journal entry monthly instead of just like at the end of the year, I'll just do a journal entry and say, this is as of the end of 04, 30 to four. And we're going to say that, that uh, cost of goods sold is going to be here and that was for $62, 62 and then we've got inventory is going down at $62 and